Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Icon packs are back. As expected, we had an upgrade pack yesterday. Well, actually two, but one of them being a big gamble SBC, the 87 plus base or mid icon upgrade. We got that pack yesterday and it's making prices rise on the market. I'll talk about specifically which ones you probably know, right? SBC fodder. Yeah, it's going up. GG's if you bought over the weekend. We'll talk about that and this 80 plus double upgrade, how I think it's decent value. Although it wasn't a ton of content yesterday, it was something to get us going, right? It was a little bit more than what we had had in the past few days and it was nice to see. Now, speaking of fodder prices, we're going to talk about this in the video today. Could they actually end up going further up in price because of more SBCs coming out maybe today, maybe throughout the rest of this week. We'll talk about that a little bit because there was a time a couple weeks ago where EA Sports didn't just drop one upgrade pack. They dropped multiple gamble upgrade packs, right? So we'll talk about that potential for today. And of course, we'll look at the market. Yesterday, the market rose a lot and not just on fodder. A lot of your cards that are meta, some of the stories cards, a lot of your gold market, just a lot of your usable meta cards in this game went up considerable amounts yesterday. I sold these Mane's too early, actually. He's now 600,000 coins. Uh, Giroud, of course, and the stories cards. We have a lot to talk about with the market today as well as the market is kind of going up pretty nicely. And it's very nice to see if you were able to buy some cards yesterday or over the weekend. You're seeing some nice returns. So we're talking about a lot today. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's start with this SBC that, of course, everybody is excited about at the moment that is making the fodder move as much as it is. It's the 87 plus base or mid. Now, I ended up doing this SBC. Is this a good value SBC? In my opinion, not that great. But here's why people are doing it because they have fodder, right? We've had 84 times 20s that have been released that people are doing their grinding swap tokens. That's the number one thing to do right now in this game, right? Apart from the normal foot champs grind, the division rivals grind, the number one thing to do is to grind the swap tokens and to get the swaps to get rewards. And what is most popular from rewards, yes, are these player picks and this gamble type stuff in here, but also the fodder packs. I'm still working right now to get the last 84 times 20. And then from there, I'll maybe, you know, get some of these other cards that are in here with a lower amount of tokens. But I think people have fodder in their clubs right now because one, the content over the past couple of days has been a bit slow. You've got weekend league rewards maybe that have been sitting in clubs, gold cards, stuff like that. We also had the 80 plus double upgrade yesterday. So the combination of people getting fodder from all those swaps, packs, getting weekend league rewards and, you know, not having too much to rinse it into. And then now this being here as well, which is a really good value upgrade pack, right? Nine players in the squad, eight non-rares and one rare and you get two 80 plus gold rares in return it's a w right these are giving out really really good fodder a lot of 83s 84s it's almost like a boards every other pack and sometimes every pack if you have a good set i've seen people packing uh some of the stories cards in here as well so they're hit or miss of course it's a gamble pack as well but it's a really cheap gamble and i think that sbc makes all sbcs right now in this game very craftable. So if you want to hit up some of these 80 plus doubles, I mean, the 76% upvote here is very accurate. It's a very nice upgrade SBC. Now, this 87 plus base or mid, like I said, people have fodder and there hasn't been too much else to do. So there's demand for this. And that's why you see fodder going up as much as it is. 275,000 coins is kind of actually a lot. Like I did the SBC yesterday and I got baby on re. And I mean, Baby Henri is technically like just a small dub because he's like 300,000 coins worth of a card. There are lots of icons that are less than 275k. This is an SBC that if you don't have a ton of coins and maybe if you're on the fence about it, I would maybe steer clear unless you can get it done really cheap and you want to go for the gamble. This is a type of SBC that drains your coin really coins really fast and drains your club really fast. But again, right, there's not a whole lot to do right now. And if you have a lot of fodder, you can kind of go ahead and get it done. So just be smart, as we often say. Um, and that's the, you know, club management in FIFA these days with all the insane content that we get over, you know, a month or two months time span is so, so, so important, right? That's why we talk about the value of SBCs, learning to say, hey, I'm going to do this SBC, but also being like, nah, I'm going to stay away is so, so important when it comes to SBCs like this. But of course, people want to do this SBC because it's something new, it's something fresh, and it's something to do. So 85s are up. Basically, everything from 84s all the way to 91s rose 
pretty significantly yesterday. I think, though, that some of these rises could continue on. I mean, you had 85s peaking at almost 10,000 coins yesterday um, in the peak of the SBC hype and demand. You've got 91s, which some people are like, nah, 91s are not going to go up for an 87 rated squad. Well, if you take a look at the solutions, the cheapest way to get an 87 rated squad done right now, at least this 87 rated squad, look at all the solutions here. You see KDB, 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 right? It's with a 91 rated player, and then throughout the rest of the SBC, you just chuck in a couple 88s, maybe another 89, and then 84s. And a lot of us have 84s in the club where you can get them from doing upgrade packs. So that's why your high tier fodder is going up for the high rated SBC um, inside of this squad. But then you still need a lot of 83s, 84s, 85s for the lower two rated squads, and that is why you have Rage Effect. <laughs> <laughs> what a name on that. That's hilarious, actually. I just saw that. Um, but that's why you have the 84s and 85s going up as well in the market is because you need a lot of that lower tier stuff. You need a lot of the higher tier stuff. And then the stuff in between, you know, for an 87 rate squad, you still need some 86s, still need some 87s. So it's all just going up. You take a look at any fodder card graph. I mean, besides 83s, they're only up like 50 coins. But you look at all fodder right now and it is up. So big GGs if you bought on the weekend. I think I'd have to say the biggest return on investment percentage point wise probably was the 85s. I mean, you would have only had to spend 7,000 coins Sunday. These guys went from 11K down to like 7,500 coins during the nighttime. And these guys went up to like 9K, almost 10K yesterday. That's really, really quick return on your investment. That's like a huge rise uh, in such a short time frame. So 85s were probably some of the best. 89s are up a lot. 90s are up a lot. 91s are up a lot as well. I mean, they went up 10,000 coins from 50 to 60 plus. So big W there on all of that sort of fodder. So if you have fodder, like we said, it's up. We know this, right? And if you haven't sold yet, I don't think you have to sell right away because personally, I think that some of this fodder could go up even more today. It all depends on the content, of course. We always talk about the combination of supply and demand. If EA were to drop a tradable pack supply SBC today, would it hurt these cards? Probably a little bit. But since that SBC is there, right, that 87 plus is there and it's out there and people are going to be trying to do it. Maybe they're crafting towards it. That's another option if you don't have enough fodder right now, but you want something to, to kind of craft towards and do upgrade packs and work towards that SBC is probably perfect for you to do that. Uh, I think there's going to be demand for, for fodder throughout the rest of this week. I think that you could even hold some of the fodder right now, and it could go up a little more even today. Now, the other potential is for today, on a Tuesday, we've seen this happen in the past. We think, oh man, Monday, it's over, right? We got a nice upgrade SBC. Now, nah, there's going to be nothing today on Tuesday, right? Well, in the past couple of years and even in the past couple of months in FIFA, we've had Tuesday upgrade packs as well. Whether it's an 81 plus team of the week pack, you know, we've had the campaign, we've had the year in review player picks recently, and we've had the hero upgrades, right? I mean, what's to say that today, you know, just like they did during Black Friday, they released the 87 plus bit base or mid icon, and then they released the 86 plus foot hero or FIFA World Cup hero. Maybe this comes today and fodder even shoots up more, right? That's I think that's a low percentage chance of happening, but the potential is there, to be completely honest. So, if you still have fodder, do what we always do. List for the lazies. I think that listing your 85s for like 11 to 12K, you list your 86s for like 16 to 17. If you got the 91s, list them suckers for like 90, sorry, like 63,000 coins. Like, list them up, right? Don't worry about selling right now for the cheapest price because in my opinion, there's no real supply hitting the market. Fodder just kind of rises up throughout the week. We don't have to be worried about fodder prices dropping until like Friday again. So you're not in a hurry. List them up and you'll be able to sell those cards throughout the rest of the week. And of course, if we get some other SBC content that makes there be more demand for fodder, you'll be able to sell your cards for an even higher price later on in the week if there's more demand there. So that's what I would say to do with your fodder. I mean, that's kind of what we often say to do, but I think specifically for this week as well, if the rest of the week is going to be slow content wise, that's going to make more people decide to do that icon pack and you're going to see fodder go up. So that's my opinion right there. But like we talked about Tuesday content today, could there be another sort of gamble pack? Maybe. I think I feel like it's a low percentage. It'd probably be a bit of a cheaper one because of course the icon upgrade, that's 250,000 coins. So I think EA would kind of come back with a cheaper SBC, right? Now we can do this again in three days. So even looking ahead towards Thursday, when the division rivals rewards hit the market on Thursday, fodder is usually a bit low then. That's going to be a great time to look at buying for another opportunity to sell fodder 
maybe Thursday after content because three days from now would be Thursday. That'd be when, uh, or three days from when this SBC was released. I'm guessing that's two days and 20 whatever hours or, you know, th whenever they say three days, two days, whatever hours it is rounding up a bit. So I think that's going to refresh on Thursday and that would be after Rivals Rewards. So there could be an opportunity to trade with fodder there. We'll look at that later on in the week, of course. But again, I think today's content could be another gamble pack, potentially. And then also, I feel like we might get a showdown today. I, I know there's no leaks, um, and there may not be a leak, or maybe there is going to be one later today. But of course, we've got Morocco, and we've got Spain playing today. And the showdowns seem to be like popping pretty quick, right? One showdown goes away, another one comes in, right? The uh, Bergwijn and the Aronson went away, boom. Next day, Ziyech and for and Torres. So could we be getting another showdown today? I think there's potential for it. So watch out for that. And if EA were going to drop us a showdown, EA Sports, you know what game you need to highlight. There's only one game we want to showdown for. England v. France. I know it's not till Saturday. So if you want to wait to release the SBC, maybe until like Wednesday or Thursday, that's completely fine. But we need... Yes, it's not a want. It is a need. We need a showdown SBC for England, France, and make it somebody a little bit better than what you've been doing. I mean, the showdowns haven't been bad, but they haven't been like, wow, you know? The only other thing that I could uh, think up about a showdown would be Croatia, Brazil, Netherlands, and Argentina. Well, we've already had a Croatian player, um, Kovacic, and a Netherlands player, Bergwijn, in recent uh, showdowns. So... That, to me, makes me think that maybe they would focus on this England-France game, but who knows, right? So we'll keep an eye on that um, since the most two recent showdowns have been involving Croatia and um, the Dutch players. So we'll have to see, but I just feel like there's another one of those showdowns coming pretty soon. If we talked about the 81-plus team in the league potentially returning today, other than that for content today... I'm not entirely sure what there's going to be out there. So just watch out for that. Um, actually, I want to talk about this. This is something that regards it was regarding swaps. Um, if you have done your swap tokens and you opened up a World Cup icon player pick, you're going to get a another one back anytime between December 2nd at 6 p.m. UK. And basically when they tweeted this yesterday, the 5th at 7 p.m. or which would be like 1 a.m. or midnight uh, UK time. Um you're going to get another icon player pick because mistakenly, and I think we, I haven't really opened too many on stream, but, um, you know, I think people that were opening these were only getting choices from the current set of icons that were in packs, the World Cup icons, that is. And I think, of course, they were supposed to have the R9, the Zidane, the Cruyff in that player pool as well. So EA, if you open one of these, and let's say you got like Eto, or even if you got like I don't even know, Roberto Carlos or somebody like halfway decent from the set of, of cards that are in packs right now. I know a lot of people like didn't get anything good. Like they got Luis Hernandez or, you know, even worse like Shevchenko, but uh, you're going to get another one and that's straight from EA Sports. So I honestly, I'm, I'm not, a, I'm not a mad about that. It's a GG basically, because if you got enough tokens in this time frame to get 35 to open up that player pick and you went for the gamble seeing what was maybe in that it's not like people were seeing what was in it and taking advantage of it maybe a little bit but i mean to be fair if you grinded that hard to get that player pick and that's what you were going for fair play i don't think that's unfair really at all i mean it's an ea mistake so hey you're just kind of on the positive side of that now us that had those tokens that didn't take that choice are like man i wish i would have done that but you know we didn't so it is what it is and if you open that be looking out for another player pick in the coming days which who knows how long that's going to be until the coming days right that's always something that's all over the place with ea whenever they say in the coming days so i still don't even know if they've done lozano compensation from a long time ago because they haven't tweeted about it but i hope that they have because it's been multiple weeks now uh since that but let's talk market a little bit to round out this video because i know you guys like nate i bought some stuff maybe on sunday night whether it was fodder remember maybe it was just some flips uh, stuff is up big, right? Yes, a lot of cards in the market have risen, including the World Cup stories cards. We did have tradable supply, right? Everybody that was going out and doing the icon pack yesterday, there was a little bit of supply that had that hit the market. So some of your lower tier cards, Giroud is down a bit, um, you know, stuff like that. But a lot of your top tier World Cup stories cards uh, are maintaining their prices or even rising a bit. Asensio is up, Rashford is up, Richarlison and Danny Alves had the biggest rises yesterday. And this is 100% influenced by the Brazil success in the World Cup game yesterday against Korea, they absolutely destroyed, right? 4-1, and I think a lot of people were like hyped to go back on FIFA and use these Brazilian cards. Maybe just a tiny bit of it would also be that people think these cards are live, which they are absolutely not. Again, don't get it twisted. 
these cards are not live cards. The only ones that are live are these Path of Glories. Now, of course, Bruno Guimaraes reaching a brand new peak in price. He was like 615,000 coins yesterday for a quick second. He's now right around 600,000 coins. I mean, guys, some of these Path of Glories, again, just continue to be crazy, crazy high in price. And, you know, guys that are extinct, Gomez is 600K again. Kyle Walker is actually down a little bit. That's pretty interesting. But as you look at the cards that are playing today, right? You've got um, the Portuguese cards like Bernardo Silva playing today. 815,000 coins for a Bernardo Silva card that was, you know, 500K when he was in packs. Like, that's crazy. So I know that may, there may be favored to win today. I know that there's still potential for these guys to go up. But, you know, especially with how expensive and how kind of crazy expensive these kind of these cards have gotten. It just seems like, hey, maybe you think about taking the cash here pretty soon if you don't want to risk it too much longer. I feel like for a lot of these cards, this is when the real risk starts to hit, right? Are you going to hold a France card until the game on uh, on Saturday between England and France? You know, that's such a big game. Or are you going to hold an Argentina card when they get a big test against the Netherlands? You know, with the Brazil card, like Bruno Guimaraes or Vinny, you're like, okay, they're playing Croatia. That's a, a game they should be able to win, right? You think so, but you never know. You never know with the World Cup. But I will tell you this. The good thing is we will have more Path to Glory upgrades. I think it actually might be tonight, like tonight into Wednesday. Watch out for some Path to Glory upgrades. So if your team won uh, the first round of 16 knockout game, there will be some upgrades incoming for those cards. Um, and I think that is honestly uh, Wednesday or Tuesday night at midnight heading into Wednesday. So watch out for more Path to Glory upgrades. And hopefully they finally upgrade some of the ones to watch cards as well. Um, I can't believe I forgot to talk about that until the very end of the video. I wanted to talk about that earlier. But Rudiger wants to watch. We're still waiting for an upgrade there. Keep a close eye on these cards because they are due upgrades. And they should be getting upgrades here very, very soon. They're due them. Uh, Dest, Adams, uh, a lot of those cards that were not upgraded from that third game week or getting their first win and then of course the path to glory so keep a close eye out for those today or tonight i guess into tomorrow on this game as well and uh yeah the name of the game right now is just doing the quick flips i know it's a bit tough if you have fodder you invested you're making some coins the rest of the market just keeps kind of going up as content just continues to be okay i did a lot of flips yesterday um i bought a couple of roberto carlos in the low 900s and he is now right around a million coins not quite over a million He's like 990K. Just can't quite break that 1 million coin range. But these World Cup icons just seem to have a pretty high pack weight. So I'll take the small profit there on this card um, at 900K, which will put me up to, I don't know, around 2.5 million coins somewhere in there. One thing I will say too is continue to watch these cards that have been um, at their minimum price that are starting to rebound back up. Carrasco is another one. We talked about Mateus Nunez in yesterday's video. Carrasco now is a card that was 45,000 coins not selling. I've sold multiple Carrasco in the past day at like 55 to 57K. It's because he's no longer at his extinct price range. People have finished panic selling these off and that the natural demand is coming in. And he's rising back up a little bit on the market. So watch out for Nabry. Watch out for Lukaku. Some of those other cards that are min price. Um, keep an eye on those specifically as we head throughout the next couple of days. Also, swap tokens. This message EA updated in the game yesterday. The final group of FIFA World Cup swap objectives are now live. So that makes me feel like we are not going to get any more tokens via objectives. And we might be done getting tokens in total unless they drop some more in the store. We're at 52 tokens right now. Two of those being from the store, of course. Um, we might be done with token. I know there were 60 that were in the concepts and stuff, and that's what everybody looks back to. And like, are we going to get 60? The way it looks right now, I don't know. Um, unless they, you know, decided they were not going to put packs in the store like they planned to originally. But this message right here telling us that the final group of swap objectives are live makes it seem like the tokens are kind of coming to an end. And especially since, um, I think there's 17 days left for all these objectives. Yeah, 17 days left for all these objectives. It kind of ends like right a day or so after the season ends. The timing with the season and all this stuff is really, really weird. But 
17 days left, basically a little over two weeks to get the swaps grind going and finished up. So that's the nice part about swaps is that you're not having to check SBCs every day. And, and maybe the content would seem better if we were getting swap token SBCs to check the SBCs for and do that sort of thing. But that's not the way that EA have been doing it inside of the World Cup promo, probably to help out casuals a little bit, which I mean, I like the casual grind ability of the World Cup swaps, if I'm being honest, even though it's not casual to go in and play all of those World Cup uh, friendly games, gold and gold, it definitely is a bit sweaty in there. But you know, you don't have to get all the tokens, you don't have to be super, super duper worried about it getting a token every day when you log on. So I'm going to keep watching the market. I'm going to keep trading and flipping cards because it's still kind of fun to do when the market is like this. During the World Cup games, you get really good prices and snipes, stuff like that. So it is a lot of fun to do. And we have made a lot of coins in the past couple of days. And we hope to continue doing that today on the game as well. So I'll, I'll see you guys in the Twitch stream. Should be a good one. Hopefully EA drop us a surprise today. And watch out for leaks because we know we're having another pr promo this Friday. We just don't exactly know what it's going to be Player-wise, we know it's that uh, World Cup Phenoms, according to EA's website. We know the promo name. We just don't exactly know who's going to be in it yet, which is completely fine. We will just have to see. But thank you guys for watching the video today. I love you, dudes. If you have any questions, comment down below. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And, of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate for the and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.